Okay, do you guys know how in Hotline Miami there's this text which goes up? And uh, we're going to try to replicate that uh, by creating uh, our own system. So this is how it looks like. It's quite different from Hotline Miami system, but it's um, you can modify it on your own so you can uh, change it to how you feel it should be. Alright, I believe I didn't explain enough in the tutorial, so to make up for that, I'm going to give you a quick little presentation. So, we need to choose random colors for our text, right? And to do that, we're going to use RGB colors, or RGB values. And RGB values range from 0 to 255. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to choose a random value from 0 and 255 to choose our random color. And let's say we, we get fully red, full red, then we're going to get uh, this value right here, 255, 0, and 0. And this 0 and 0 right here stands for the green value and the blue value. So, and same for this, these two colors. And we can mix these values to create a random color. Uh, so for example, if we get 0 for the red and 255 for both the green and blue, we're going to get this shade of blue. And if we get 255 for red and 0 for green and 255 for blue, we're going to get pink and so on and so on. And how we're going to do this is firstly we're going to use this function, make color RGB, and it, it accepts three arguments, so red, green, and blue value. And the thing is, we want it to be random, so what we, we're going to do is use the random function. So random 255, random 255, random 255. So yeah, and also um, this is how we're going to uh, manipulate our text. So we're going to create an alarm and it's set to a certain number later on in our create event. And before the alarm has been set off, we're going to increase our scale. Uh, so it, it gets bigger and increase the x and y value so it goes up. And after the alarm 0 has been set off, we're going to decrease the scale. And if the scale is less than 0, then we're going to destroy ourselves. And we're also going to increase the x value so it goes to the left a little. So that's it guys, Um, and we're going to go right into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do... I hope this works, okay. The first thing you want to do is create a font or use your own fonts. You can download fonts at thefont.com. The font that I'm using is Discoduck, and I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to download it. And what we're, what we're going to do is create a new object. So we're going to name this object O score or object score. And this object is going to have some variables. Um, so these variables are ones that I found to be working for me. Later on, you can change these values so that it fits what you need. So firstly, we're going to set the image x scale to 0 0.5, image x scale, and then we're going to do scale increase equals to 5, 0 0.5 over room speed, and scale decrease equals to 5 over room speed, y increase equals to 40 over room speed, and then, uh, again, these numbers, you can change these later, if you want. Um, and then we're going to set, uh, create a boolean um, alarm activated, equals to false. And we're going to do alarm 0 equals to room speed and times 4.5. So just under 1 one second and in our alarm zero we're just going to do alarm activated equals to false and in our step event so we're going to create a step event and we're going to do if alarm activated equals to false so if if the alarm has not been activated then we're going to increase the scale so image x scale plus equals scale increase y minus equals y increase so that it goes up remember uh, in game maker if you 
minus the y, then it goes up. And the x minus equals y increase the 5 by 2. And else, if it has been activated, then image x scale minus equals scale decrease x plus equals y increase the 5 by 2. Again, you can change these values, it's up to you. And then what we're going to do is if um, image x scale is less than or equal to 0, if it's small enough that it cannot be seen, then we're going to destroy ourselves. And then we're going to create a draw event to draw the text. So we're going to set the font. So F text float. And set font. I don't know what I'm doing. And we're going to set four different variables. So the uh, ran color one, which um, stands for random color one. And what we're going to do is select a random color. So we're going to do make color RGB, make color red, green, blue. I'm going to select a random shade of uh, red, random shade of green, and random shade of blue. Okay. Two, three, four. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do draw text transformed color and the x will be x y text we're going to define the text variable later and the x scale will be image x scale the y scale will be image s scale because we want it to be the same angle will be zero uh, the color will be ran color one, ran color two, ran color three, ran color four. We're going to actually enter this so that it's much more readable. And the alpha set it to one so it can fully be seen. And actually, um, we have a slight problem here. If you saw the intro, then you will know that we have a, an outline behind the text. So how we can achieve that is by, let's, let's just um, duplicate this and put this behind the text. And we're going to change these colors to black because we want the outline to be black. So, uh, C black. C black. Uh, C black and C black. All right, so now we're going to change the X. So X minus two or X, yeah, X actually, yeah, X minus two and Y minus two or Y plus two because we want it to appear behind the text. So you'll see what will happen. The next thing we want to do is okay i'm going to go to my chest event and i want to set it so that if i click the chest it will create the score object but uh you can do like for example if you kill an enemy it will appear and it's destroy event so you can do you can create the score event in your enemy's destroy event or whatever but what i'm going to do is do instance um var score because we want to refer to our object later on instance create layer x y uh, now you want to create a new layer so that it's above everything uh, you want to create a new layer for this I'm, I'm just going to use my inventory layer because it's above everything and o score and now we want to refer to our score object so score underscore the text equals to uh, now you can do it so that like if you kill an enemy you get five score or whatever but I'm just going to do I random range 100 and 1000. And what we're going to do is create a plus sign and convert this because this is going to be a number, right? A integer. 
so we're going to make it a string so you can do that okay with a plus sign oh no actually we're gonna stop that add a plus sign here Oh no, my Mac flagging. Please no. I don't want to re record. No. Close this. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Add a plus sign here. And what this is going to do is make it like to seem as if points are being added. And of course, in here you can do, um, like, for example, if you have a points variable or a score variable, you can do score plus plus or something like that. And in here, as you can see, oh wait, we did something wrong. Oh yeah, I know what we did wrong. Okay, so in our score event, in our step event, we want to do minus equals image x. Wait, actually, did we set our alarm zero? Oh my god, we're going to change this. This is false. We're going to change this to true. Okay. So that's what was wrong. Okay. Oh my god. I really messed things up today. Um, I've tried recording five times this morning, but I always somehow mess up. Like the third time I recorded, my laptop fell. So yeah. As you can see, after the alarm has been activated, it decreases itself and becomes smaller until it eventually, um, eventually disappears. And as you can see, we drew the outline, which is black, and we added the plus sign, and the random colors are drawing every step. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial, and I'm going to see you guys later.